What's up, mofos? How's it hanging? Welcome back to the channel, OM Fishing. If you are new, be sure to hit the button, hit the bell, ding, 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 subscribe. Trying to hit 1K so I can go live. Help a brother out. Look, I hit the store. I got new stuff. I got old stuff because you know what today is. Today is Tuesday, which means it's Tackle Tuesday. Let's go. guys that actually follow the channel you're actually following the videos you see the stories of when i'm out on the lakes fishing uh, and if you watched my last tackle tuesday i talked a lot about this bait right here which is the culprit fat max this is called the okeechobee color i'm gonna tell you man people can make fun of uh, slow conventional fishing all they want to they can make fun of worms and and etc but this thing has produced and that day was really tough i threw top water i threw rattle trap i threw chatter bait um, and then I went back to this and honestly, this was the only thing that produced the entire day. I even switched to a red and black shag color, which gave me some bowfin. That's fun. That's, that's a lot of fun. Um, but, uh, I'm not going to ever make fun of conventional fishing. I'm not ever going to make fun of something like this. It works, dude. So with that being said, let me show you some stuff that I actually just picked up from uh, a little store down the road. This might actually shock some people, but, uh, I've never even owned a buzz bait before ever and never thrown one, never owned one. I have frogs, I have uh, spooks, I have uh, other types of topwater bait, but I've never had a buzz bait, and today I bought my first one. This is a Mega Bass buzz bait. Now, I could have gotten a much cheaper buzz bait. This was like $15.99, but I am kind of biased towards mega bass because i feel like they produce quality um lures and baits and uh everything just seemed like it was built right i don't know the matte color versus like shiny stuff the the head on this thing the fact that it's got like a snake head and it's literally got like snake looking eyes if you can see that like you see that it's like a look anyway it's the little things like that but it's the coloring too um you know it's I just, it was a little more, but you know, it is what it is. So I bought that. I also bought some uh, Rage Tail uh, Menace that I plan on using as like uh, a trailer on this thing, actually. Uh, and that was the one thing I couldn't tell in the packaging is that this thing has something to help keep, which it looks like it does. It looks like it does have something to help keep bait on there. You can kind of see this little groove piece here. I think that's for like if you want to use a trailer you can actually have it where it sits on top of there so let me let me rig this up and uh we'll see what it looks like this rage tail is actually the perfect size for uh for this this buzz bait see how the tail just hangs out right there under the skirt that is absolutely gorgeous yeah buddy let me get this on there and uh, for those that uh, don't know, this is a simple process. Just want to basically center it up. And you want to push it in to probably about right there. And then uh, you just want to like push this over the two little grooves. Pull that in a little bit. So make sure we're in these grooves real good so they don't come sliding off. Yeah, so there we go. I mean, that is where it's at. So, of course, for those that don't know, uh, this is a topwater bait. And this thing just chugs across the water right here and just creates all kind of racket. If you are familiar with the Whopper Plopper, this is basically a Whopper Plopper on steroids. Huge propeller, all kind of water, just, just tons of ruckus. So, some of you guys know I'm into swim baits. Um big old swim baits. This is a Mega Bass Mag Draft that I just purchased. However, they only had the six inch version. I think there's an eight inch version of this thing. Um, but this really caught my eye. Uh, I'm just not sure for South Florida how effective I can be with this. There's definitely some areas I can try it in. Now, this is a soft swim bait. 
Um, a lot of you guys have seen some of my hard glide baits, whatever the case is, but this is a soft swim bait. Uh, Mega Bass, as usual, has done a phenomenal job producing what looks like a quality bait. Uh, and it has a magnet on the bottom, as you guys can see here, with a treble hook that is basically dangling. But with the magnet system, you can put it up like this where you have one hook exposed on the bottom. Uh, and they recommend that for fishing and grass. Now, you guys know South Florida. There's tons of vegetation. There's tons of grass. Um, and if you wanted to fish in open water, there's actually a slit back here where you can basically take one of the treble hooks, push it into the slit, and then you have two hooks exposed on the bottom. Um, one thing about swim baits, like I said, this is only six inches, but I imagine this will produce quality fish. Uh, and the biggest plus of a swim bait is the hit. When you get hit on something this size, you don't just get hit. You get smashed. And who doesn't like getting smashed? Whether it's by fish or Friday night or whatever you're into. One thing I'll say, though, is I'm a little concerned about the magnet system that's inside of this bait. Because, honestly, I don't think it's going to take too much to uh, make that thing come off of there. And if you end up fishing like this, at least in the areas I fish here in Florida, oh, buddy you're gonna hit all kind of vegetation. I think maybe the best way to actually fish this is to put the hook inside the belly uh, where you can have the two hooks on the outside. I'll let you guys know after I actually cast it, run it, uh, maybe coming through the water moving, it's going to keep the treble hook up. That's what I'm going to assume until I actually get out there and work it. Look, I wanna give a shout out right quick to my buddy Mike Blue, who also goes by Florida Bass Kicking on IG. Without the G though, Florida Bass Kicking, K-I-C-K-I-N, no G. When you guys see me do this, yeah, yeah, the big fish alert, that's because he turned me on to this in his IG story. So Florida Bass Kicking, thank you so much. You're my boy, Blue. And another shout out that I need to give is to a lady named Franimal. On my big channel, for those guys that follow my big channel, you know I go live over there often. I delete them all because a lot of things get said, but... Uh, I'm not sure what the rules or policies are anymore because they keep moving the goal line. I'm sure you understand, but uh, I used a Walmart scale that was, I'm convinced, busted. It was telling me fish that I know were seven pounds were six pounds or whatever the case is. My buddy caught an eight pounder and it told him it was like a six and a half. But anyway, Franimal was kind enough to send me this catch commander right here uh, from Tackle Warehouse. And if you guys know this scale, it's one of the best, if not... It's up there. It's one of the best on the market. So thank you so much, Frenimal. I really appreciate you. And uh, be sure to check out HeathenSquad.com because HeathenSquad.com socks make me fish my best. This is why I do it, bro. Oh. Oh, my God, dude. Number nine is a freaking tank. See you, buddy. Oh, my God. I think it's because I'm wearing my lucky socks. Check these out. I think it's because I'm wearing these. You can get these uh, yourself at heathensquad.com. I'm not saying that it comes with the luck that I have, but you can purchase a set for yourself and maybe you two can catch fish. Who knew I was an influencer? I, I surely didn't, but apparently my buddy, Beards and Bass, his kid, his son saw it and told his dad he needs those socks because he sees me catching big fish with those socks and he's got to have a pair for himself. Maybe you need one too. I'm not sure. But anyway, a lot of you guys probably think I never throw spin baits. Guess what? You're absolutely right. But I do own one. That's all. I just wanted to show you that. Speaking of swim baits, look at the size of this joker here. This is a uh, gambler big jeezy, I think is what they call this. The, I mean, dude, we're talking, what is this? Like a nine-aught hook right here? It's big. It's big. I mean, this is probably what, six, seven inches? Uh, it's definitely eight, definitely eight inches. But I need to throw this more often. I haven't thrown it enough. I think maybe I'll rig this back up uh, next time I hit one of the smaller lakes I hit just to see if this thing can get smashed. On the topic of swim baits, though, serious note, drop down a comment below. Let me know who makes your favorite soft swim bait, right? There's tons of hard swim baits out there. But uh, who makes your favorite soft swim bait that actually uses a one-hook system? Not treble hooks. Nothing like that. I know Working Class Zero makes some really nice stuff. I know there's others out there. Uh, but if you know of something that you've used that's a big old swim bait, but not like this, just 
something that's more matched the hatch a little bit, you know, like actually has an eyeball or something, uh, drop it in a comment below. Uh, also, be sure to follow me on Instagram, om underscore fishing underscore fl. I know it sounds like a lot, just right, right, right here. Just follow, follow this right here. Go find it on Instagram and follow it. I appreciate you guys hanging out. That's all I got for today. Uh, maybe next time I'll come better prepared and have more stuff. But again, I can't wait to throw, can't wait to throw this one. This one's really catching my eye. Something like this, but like a single hook system, bigger. Let me know. See you guys next time. Take care.